Well, hey guys, how's everybody? I hope everyone's well. Hope you've had a great day. Uh, probably tired of seeing Echo videos, but maybe you've seen little McCulloch saw before this. Um, this is a short one anyway, just kind of an update on it. I'm probably going to leave it the hell alone update, but uh, the last video I showed basically we done a base gasket delete, a little cleanup work to the exhaust port, and raised the primaries a little. Uh, saw performed a little better, it had a little more grunt, you could lean on it a little more. Um, honestly, before I'd done that in the same piece of wood, you, you just could not lean on it at all. It would just fall flat on its face. Um, it is what it is. At the end of the day, it is a 59cc saw, and I had it in over 20 inches of red oak, so it's doing pretty good to cut it at all. But um, last week I come in here and done a time in advance. It helped it a little, made it a little more zippier. Might have given it a little more RPM. Um, that was probably the last cuts you seen with it. Um, still, I was just like, this thing just, I don't know, I just didn't care for it. And I knew it was the exhaust port. The exhaust port height, height was crazy. It was something like 114, I think, after the base gasket delete. Um, and again, this cylinder here, for some odd reason, um, there wasn't any room to really do any machine work. Unless you wanted to do a little bit and then put a gasket back in it, but... I guess a man could have pulled squish on down to like 19, 20 thou or so, but this one has 24 thou without a base gasket. Um, I don't know if it's common or normal or not, it's just this saw. Um, anyway, um, where we're at, I pulled it back off uh, about like my 4910. We raised the exhaust roof and the uppers a freaking mile. Um, we significantly altered things and it, I believe it's scavenging well. It's a lot peppier, a lot happier. Um, and it feels like you're running a 59cc ported saw now. Um, I honestly think maybe this one had had the coil swap. Um, it does seem to be limited, but it is way, way out in the left field, like past 15,000 RPMs, which it will turn now. Um, the carburetor I don't know about, it doesn't seem to be governed at all, which you'll see in the videos. This thing zings way up there. Um, that's the main reason I went back into it. Um, you know, I'd learned that after running it enough that, hey, this thing's not governed or limited hardly at all. So, uh, you know, someone else had done some work to it. Um, you know, at the end of the day when we got it, it was muffler modded. Didn't know a thing about it. The fella I got it off of knew about all I knew. Um, but anyway, um, I've got some videos here of it cutting in this piece of red oak. 